At 6.06, we're giving you a live look at what is left of the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore. That giant cargo ship that you see there right in the middle crashed into one of the pillars of the bridge, causing the whole thing to collapse. The National Transportation Safety Board says they are still searching for the six people who remain unaccounted for tonight after that collapse. Investigators say the driver of the cargo ship lost control of it, causing that crash. A lot of people are talking about it. That bridge collapse, of course, in Baltimore is now raising some questions around the nation. And one of those questions being, what do you do if your car was suddenly submerged in water? It's a scary thought for a lot of us. Our Jake White tells us more. By now, many of us have seen this shocking and terrifying footage coming out of Baltimore this morning, but around the country, it's raising many questions. One of those being, if I was in that situation and I was submerged in a body of water, what could I do to survive? Take a look. 613 dispatch, the whole bridge just fell down. Start, start, whoever, everybody, the whole bridge just collapsed. Early this morning at 1.28 a.m., the Francis Scott Key Bridge, which is a major bridge in the area, carrying more than 30,000 people a day, collapsed into the river after a cargo ship hit one of its supporting pillars. This has raised questions around the country, one of those being, what would I do if I was in that situation? So say that you do find yourself in a situation similar to this, one of these devices can make a really big difference. Right here you can see that it has a window breaker. You can also see on the other side it has a seat belt cutter and a multiple different light features to let emergency services know exactly where you are. I also spoke with Tupelo Fire Chief Brad Robinson. He tells me some other key ways to handle the situation to ensure your survival. Remove that seat belt. And it seems like that would be second nature just to remove your seatbelt, but that's going to be difficult when you're in panic mode. So staying calm is key. You want to remove the seatbelt, and it may not retract, so you may just have to get out of your way. Immediately try to get those windows down. You'll have a flood of water coming in, but it's going to be better to get those windows down. If that doesn't happen, once you get underwater, you want to try to push that door open, pull the latch and push it with your legs and everything else to try to open that door and obviously try to swim to safety at that point. NBC reports it will be a major project to clear the debris and reopen the Port of Baltimore following the collapse. The water beneath the bridge is believed to be about 50 feet deep.